is slowly tickling down Omar to get the first blood. Maybe he was going to get it. It's going to be TA2K. TA2000 with the first blood onto Gunner. Do call the smoke, guys. Just he, he wants the recognition <laughs> right there, guys. Hey, hey. That was my smoke. My 50 gold spent got us that kill. Everyone should know. Self-promotion. Doesn't matter too much. Dugala Are you off laner in Joyer? No, I despise. I'm a plus five, plus four player, and when I play plus five, I normally get smacked. <laughs> You're up against a centaur when you pick literally anything, and the enemy plus four has a stun, you die. You sail, and Fly just died. Yeah, I guess taken down in the bottom lane. I was expecting him to actually go all the way around and catch Fly. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, he's going all the way around. I... Nah, he won't be able to get caught. And Radiant actually... Oh, Omar still manages to spot him out. One more rocket barrage and Fly is dead. There's also just boots delivered to Omar, so he is pretty fast and Fly is dead. Omar does slowly but surely melt him away. And even if that wasn't the case, you could always use the Zeus ult. Yeah. How far behind in such a short amount of time? TA2000 already has the full Yasha done. And, uh, yeah, not being oh, able to interrupt the Medusa's farming is problematic. Bye. Just look at the damage. Oh my god. Does get blasted and fuse raindrops. He is going to stay alive for a little bit longer. Yomar is still alive and kicking right now, trying to return some damage, but Noob's not going to be able to help out his gyro. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to kill him. They have a Paviz on uh, Omar. Omar might die, though. Oh, nice. Quickly gets rid of the proximity mine. Turns it on to fly. Fly falls instead. Omar, the ghost ship the run boat? buff is even there on the high ground. Oh, the boat's stolen. Trying to run away. Lela stole it, but the X mark will actually hold him in place. So the stolen ghost ship is not really going to help him out whatsoever. And they find a double kill. Both supports from now and get smacked. The way Quest is playing right now, it's super good. They're just a group in as five, a four, and Naus can't do anything about it because they, they don't have the damage. They're going to try to do something here. Let's see. Go, going in onto Noob. Omar's got the Pavis. Live drag back. Noob in response. A lot of damage. Will get taken down. Has no buyback for his ulti, but there's even a Deuce at TP coming through. They managed to find one kill going for Gunner next. And they take him down. He's doing a lot of damage, but with Omar on the chase, it's Rocket Barrage. Actually, Gunner is faster with the face boots and looks to be able to even disengage. So, one for one trade, a very good one, especially with all the TPs forced out. He's just looking to get the Ags. He's going to throw everything he has, though. Disseminate. Oh, it was still on cooldown for a second longer. Void Spear jump, jump. Noob, can he get the catch? Zap, zap, indeed he goes. Point Spirit, why did he okay, go Oh, I almost he died. To the... <laughs> I almost he died to the ancient creep. <laughs> that that was a little bit of an undercut astral step as well. Even gets the tip there from Dugala's fly with the blast of onto Dugala's, but he is very tanky. Has a twenty magic wand charge on the enchantress. And X Mark Torrent keeps them in place. Lelis, they're going back in looking for the Rubik. There's the X Mark Gunner trying to get the pure damage and onto Malik. A Ooh. lot of damage, but Malik is gonna stay oh. alive. Ooh! Omen Missile actually saving him from the ancient killing him. Um Quest is just running on the map. They're just like they see someone in ours, they run in like crazy and now can't do much about it because they don't have the damage to respond. You can just go do a deep ward here in the jungle and force a Russian. Okay, they wanna fight. We'll find the free techies. Noob's got the haste rune as well, looking for more, but they're a bit too far away. He's going phylactery Yasha. Uh, Akai Yasha. So we're gonna probably see a Mantis tell Zeus he already has the shard as well. And Chantres, <sighs> actually both the support shards are really nice to have. Bottle? Yuma? Oh, Yuma. Oh, oh but it is stuff. sent back towards Noob. 
There is gonna be the zoo salty. You can he dodge it. He tried to wait Almost. for him dodge it, but timing was off. Dies to the <laughs> neutral. <laughs> it's so sad when this this stuff happens. We're chasing a hero and then the ancient just randomly pop off and there's like nope, it's mine. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, they have the damage. They have Omni smoke it, but they're split. What is happening? Omni is on triangle. Yuma is forced in bottom. Okay, the rest of the team ward. is nowhere nearby. And yeah, maybe they just were just trying to scandal. find people and and push the wave to get more information. And they're just seeing if they can get a pick off. Speaking of which, that's going to be a jump in mid. Omar very quickly glitz blowing up. If uh, you got copy and gunner on top of a target, they do die pretty quickly. That's pretty okay. well done. <laughs> okay. Impressive. Okay. That, you know, that, it keeps that, them yeah. distracted. <laughs> that's that's exactly play. why these guys play, for, play professional. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Yuma knows what he's doing. Uh, doesn't really care about that X mark uh, shenanigan after the BKB ends. In the meantime, Copy's not going to be so lucky. We'll get caught out. Kill goes to the Gallus, who's got the full on Hurricane Pike done on the Enchantress. But keep it like it's been, it feels like it's been 11k net with advantage for the last 10 minutes. Hasn't it's because really grown. Nose is cutting too much waves. And Quest is just trying to follow them on the map. Like, they're getting some kills here and... Oops. Oh no, Gunner. Gunner. Oh, he's dead now. That tries to stay alive a bit longer with the Guardian Angel, but that only helps you against the physical, not the big-ass pure spears of impetus. Plus the, of course, magic damage coming in. Speaking of which, there is a Octarine Corp almost... Uh, or is it Bloodstone? It's the Bloodstone coming up on the Kunkai. You're going to get massive torrents in the next team fight. You're not going to be able to dodge anything coming forward. It's on that. fly. He is pretty oh, tanky. He, and he is very fast with reactive taser as well. He even has a mech. So much magic armor and physical armor on this techies right now. Will be taken down in the end. But they're actually... Uh, Gonna spread it apart. They push out top wave, then bottom lane is gonna be pushed in by the Void Spirit and trying to just keep them away from their base. Lelis now also has a blink dagger, so maybe you can get a good spell to steal, but they and even as a clarity popped for that little bit of extra mana gun there needs to be careful. Nullifier gets thrown out on him. Oh, he still has repel. Okay, I guess the tooltip's just wrong. Wouldn't be the first <laughs> time that happens. Jump coming in, Gunner trying to get the damage. He's in a lot of trouble getting blasted by spells, and there's just zero follow up. Okay, Gunner just. Radiant's middle tower. He just. Smoked. Yep. <laughs> <Radiant's middle laughs> they didn't follow up, in. I don't know. I, I think it's because of Water Park. They got scared of the water park. Well, he is back in 30 seconds, but that's going to cost you two sets of racks, maybe even three. They're trying to go for the back line, but Malik is blocking the entry there on the Kunkka. The 3.5k HP Kunkka with the Bloodstone at the ready. Even all the Kanda Adaptive Strike attempts will be blocked here. TA2000, Yuma is going to go in onto the Dusa, who's losing all of his HP. Dusa loses the Aegis, but still has a second life. On the side, it's going to be Noob running away. But another Manta dodge coming in. They make sure the Kanda never hits the enemies. With the BKB at the ready, Yuma, will he pop it? Go back into the fight. There is also Gunner. They might have to be a little bit careful here. Gunner, the slowest attack of his life oh. comes through. And Dukalis is just not dropping. Look at the healing on the Enchantress. Finally drops dead. And it's going to be PSG quest on the run. Void Spirit trying to chase, dissimulate, gets himself back. You, another man to dodge. Oh, every counter strike is dodged here. And the Void Spirit, last step forward. Can he disengage? Gun and nullifier. He's in trouble. Tries to get damage here. The blast up from Fly, oh, Fly throwing himself at the enemy. His body on the floor soon enough will be taken down. 
And now it's Yuma, very sad that every single attempt he tries gets dodged with the Manta style. <laughs> very well played by TA2000 by dodging those Candas adaptive strikes. Um, it's 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 like I said, they have the Candas, but you have the Aegis. They use the Aegis to get a set of racks, get some kills here and there. Going on to the Loses almost all of his mana in the process. Yuma jumping forward, gets the flat cannon, so he's pumping out a decent amount of damage, but he's alone. He... Void Spirit had no HP. The Rubik has nothing. A single torrent that he can use, but that seems to be it. Gunner is back alive, but TA2000 is almost full mana again, and that looks like it's going to be PSC Quest taking the game or not. They're going to jump in. Oh, Malik, jump. Gunka gets nuked. Gunner trying to run away, he needs to be careful. He still has the Guardian Angel. Waiting for the Nullifier to end. And they're trying to hold on. Another round with the Kanda jump from the Omni Knight. Going for Omar, Gyrocopter gets Ooh. taken down. There's gonna be distraction onto the TA 2000 Medusa, but he's got that fast moving disperser running forward. Is out of mana right now. And he's be joining careful. in the fray. They still have to wait 25 seconds for the Morphling. Gonna buy back. Me? Another Kanda double hit to come through. Problem is, Ducalis is hard to hit because he's got the enchant. <laughs> uh, the slow motion. <laughs> so he just can't hit him. 10 seconds for Yuma. Gunner in trouble. That will be a dieback if he falls. And he will be dragged back. So will Lelis though. Two seconds for the Morphling. The tier fours are almost down. It's going to be two against the world. He does have Flak Cannon to pump out some damage. Can they go in for the play to save what they've got left in the game? Number one, waveform forward, adapt to strike. Does connect. Almost all the mana of tier 2000 is gone. Yuma is pumping damage, Ooh. but it is just too lacking. The supports aren't even dying from the Flak Cannon. And Ducala stays alive in the end after uh, returning it to the fray that is going to be game number one in favor of pc quest and this was from beginning to some Alex actually hits. having a pretty okay time as well started yeah. off pretty problematic in the lane but a lot better yuma yuma Taking a lot of damage while uh, we were looking at Yuma taking some heavy damage, losing all of his mana. But bottom lane, Lelis gets a double kill on the gyro. That is something I did not expect to happen. Uh, the bottom lane get squashed underneath the tower. He's going to go for the bounce. That kill gets secured. Kind of even tosses off Kopi, but they will find the life seal. TA2000 is down in the dirt. 2k net with lead now for Nouns. With Kopi top of the net worth chart. And TA2000, I mean, Lelis is gaining on him. That's just showing how much of a struggle this life sealer has been having. Okay, we have Dagger on time. It's time. Yeah, it's ready to rumble. He does have a lot of damage. Of course, uh, life sealer is still not the easiest to kill. He doesn't actually have Infest on the life sealer, so... He can definitely die if he's not careful. Which noob hasn't even made a single attempt this game to make a play. He's just uh, trying to get that witch blade. Once he has the witch blade, maybe a play can come through. Degalis is in trouble. Cannot run away when Glimpse is a useful tool here. And Copy will get that easy peasy kill secured. TA2000 has an extra point to go for the infest, but in the static Ooh, storm, the kinetic cost. field. Toss back play from Gunner, Blink Dagger usage coming in, and that is another kill for Copy. Nice moves coming out from the side of Nouns. Stone Gaze pops it, still has a magic stick and a healing lotus that he can use as well. And there is going to be a flat cannon stolen by Omar. That's not the spell you want to pick up right now. Ooh, and Gallus is dead. Glimpse onto Omar. Dropped in front of Yuma. They're going to turn their attention to both Malik and Omar at the same time. But it's going to be a dominating streak for a copy and an 8-0 scoreline for Nouns at the moment. This is disastrous. They didn't even get close to killing that Dusa. Lelis? Oh, just oh, look at no. the damage. We'll get the kill. Gets Glimpse back, has the face shift to dodge. Mm. 
And is still on the run though. Copy with the continuous chase. Noob jumping slightly further will get the TP away. Yeah, gets jumped, but the plus side is that way TA2000 can actually continue farming a couple of creeps next to him. Take the gateway to the other side, but look at this. Fly is already taking a TPing to the other side, trying to catch him out. The downside is TP to the outpost, so that's a very long TP. Won't be able to get the catch onto TA2000 in time Copy. up towards mid. There's a rolling thunder being used. Control onto Omar. Can't get over the cliff. Omar's going to get taken down. They will actually kill off Fly topside. Malik showing his first usage of the shard that he just picked up. Almost has his blink dagger as well. So this Omni Knight is at a point where he already does a lot of damage. Which mid, Lelis, there's a lot backing him up. They are looking for a kill, jumping quickly on to copy. That's a great catch if they can secure it. He's dropping low stacks from connect field, only catches Malik. Oh, Lelis is going to be a second bearish. one taken down. Dukalis with the Crystal Maiden ulti on top as well. It's more than enough damage. They find themselves the first reveal with the double blink dagger move. And it is uh, pretty effective, especially taking down copy who had a very nice kill streak. For dominating kill streak secured a lot of cash gained. Does have his blink uh Aghanim Scepter now though, so that's gonna be a nice power spike for the dire side, but this also creates space for tier two thousand to continue farming. So every time oops, Lelis stop. Yeah, Ooh. it's a casual kill. <laughs> I mean, these casual kills are starting to get the net worth advantage annihilated. It's almost, uh, I mean, it's only a 4k net worth lead at this stage in the game. That's nothing. I don't know. I, I, I like the fact that these units on the meta again, but when you, you gotta go, oops, oh. mid lane, Yuma. Yuma has the defusal. Stone Gaze being used. Does get stolen, which is a very nice deal from... Uh, Omar stacks oh. up connect field, but Omalik gets himself out of there. Glimpse comes out onto the Omni Knight, is going to get controlled, and the Omni is dead. They get out of there with the rest of the heroes. Actually, Gunner, smoke gets broken. Does he expect Noob to be in the trees? Speaking of which, Noob needs to get himself out of there, quickly disengage, and yeah, continue cutting creep waves. It is for the side of quest because they are not ready to take a fight against this Dusa. This huge Dusa is closing in on the Disperser. Mortimer's kisses. But I thought it doesn't interrupt the other channels either. Oh no, Dugalis! Oh, he's staying alive for a little bit longer. He's fine. No, he's trying to place very good. deep wards so that they have some good vision. But doesn't get the plant in time, and luckily so, otherwise it would have just been a quick D ward coming through. Now we need to push next. this, this, this bottom, bottom lane and go Russian. Okay, Yamani is counting Russian. This game is still very open. It, like, obviously Yuma is the biggest hero in the game. And very scary, and Copy is also incredibly farm, but... Oh, jump in onto Malik. He doesn't have a way out of there. He's trying to heal up with the shard. Actually, can he get... No, he cannot stay alive. Puck rotating through. Noob is infested as well. So they're looking to get a catch. There's going to be the snap call. Jumping forward. Gunner going for the TP out. Glimp sends back the puck. And Noob is actually no chasing him for fly instead. Carlos? Oh, Lelis? He wants Ducalis. At least he'll tank the gank. Okay, we have Aegis on Duza. All now needs to do right now is to regroup and play together and try to force a high ground. Different from the last game. Oops. Nope. Oh, Gunner. Blimps, he was waiting. Face shift dodge has the blink. Blinks to the side. Doesn't have mana though. Uh, gunner nearby. Puck keeps disengaging. Doesn't grab the lotus. Still on the run. Does get hit though, but has a blink in a second. And blinks in opposite direction. No TP. Oh, they scan. No courier. They found he has the nothing. Phone. He's dead. As elusive as he can be, he does keep three heroes distracted while 
mid lane creep wave gets taken down, so they can't push mid. Yosa went top, so they're pushing out the waves at the moment on the side of quest, trying to delay the game as much as possible. Rolling Thunder immediately gets cancelled by Copy, which is now on cooldown. Going in for Ducalis, Malik charging forward, the Pangolier staying alive, Ooh. the Static Storm doesn't get a catch though. And Copy gets zapped by Omar on the side. Oh, K2000 gets Those are just kids with the TP. K2000 in trouble, has no rage available. One second, actually, his mana is drained at the moment. Thanks to the Fusal Blade, turns his attention towards Lalas. Oh, Malik's coming in from the side. Omar does get taken down by Gunner, and T2000's rage is ended, and so will he. T Yuma has very little HP, actually, with the mana drain. But it is going to be a disengage from Malik. TP out of there. Oh, we'll the glimpse. Get the TP in time. No. Nope. Get over here, bro. <laughs> he wants to go for. <laughs> but I was running for his life there. <laughs> BKB, though. Jump forward, trying to go for Lelis. They don't really know what target they need to go for here. And the four staff up the high ground. The dodge comes out. Noob gets caught in the static storm. Oh, though. the glimpse. Big mistake coming out. Noob's dead for 60. Doesn't have a way out of this. Tier 2000 needs to pop his rage to try and disengage. Still gets stunned by the stone gates. Rolling Thunder gets stolen in the meantime, but they lose Tier 2000. No buyback available on the live stealer. The remaining three heroes are trying their best to hold on to the base, but they're dropping like flies. Malik does get a quick kill onto Lelis on the back end, but is now surrounded by enemies. Actually turns his attention on Noob's uh, Gunner. Seven damn. streak removed. Malik will drop dead. He does have enough for a buyback because of those kills. They will let the top, top set of racks just drop. Easy racks. A big mistake for Puck because they forced Puck to use phase shift. Uh, Gyro just put a home and miss on Puck. Then because of that, uh, she she had to use a phase shift and she got the glimpse. So nice play by Fly, but just. Uh, pay attention if Puck had face shift or not available. So I'll play it for him. But Yuma is gonna get hit by the Rolling Thunder actually that was still going on. Omar with the bounce do have damage. Actually Omar is dropping very quickly in response. Four staff to get another little stun going, but it's just three quick kills coming in instead for the side of now. C2000 is going to get surrounded as well, and it's looking like this might just be it. They can rush this up on towards the high ground, and you might didn't even get anywhere close to dying. Uh, it helped to to control Juzza, but you just don't have the damage. Life Stealer can't hurt Juzza. You have Omni, of course, that helps, but that's it. You don't have anything else. Now, Omni didn't even get a hit off in that fight. He only did 70. I don't know how you do 17 damage, but he only did 17 damage in that engagement. In the meantime, Kopi gets taken down by Noob in a solo kill. And he's even looking for Fly, who will be a second one down, so... Alice uh, just trying to delay it, but there's the first dispel. If you throw out another spell, he's got a second dispel. And that's some Lyrax slowly drop in. Malik is very far behind. Omar is going to get spotted. Avatos comes in. Gonna gets a quick kill. And buyback by the Rubik. Still looking to find an opening. But that Observer Ward, very nicely placed. Spotting out if there's anyone coming in the direction. They will Ooh. already find Ducala. Second buyback coming through. And jump in from Malik, he's trying to go for Gunner, but instantly in a bit of trouble is Malik on the Omni Knight, surrounded right now. Stone Gaze has been used and is going to be on cooldown. In comes TA2000 trying to go for a fight. Backline though, Noob is going to get taken down. He just bought the Parasma, so there's no buyback on the puck. And with the Avatar, the damage is outstanding. Malik trying to run away, will not be able to disengage. It's TA2000 against the world. And the world is too strong. It will be Nouns taking game number two. That means we're going to a final decider in this series. Nouns not taking that, not accepting the first loss. I'll just show it us that they have Dota. Both teams play really passive on the early stages of the game. Uh, they are generally just wait the mid laner to get six and 
A power run. Oops. First kill of the game, Gunner. Here he goes. Gets blown up, noob, with the well, classic I'm a Zeus, I get kills. <laughs> Do you think we are going to see the classic Montezus this game? I expect so. The up against Disrupt, he wants to go up with the high liked uh, Manta style dodges. Even had a couple in the last. Uh, in game number one as well, but with the 2k net with lead, this game is starting to look really rough. All in front of you is by Copy, and it's going to be the haste rune stolen away, so Copy has to go and possibly get the double bounty rune to refill his bottle, otherwise his mid lane is in a lot of trouble. On top, they just... Ducalis, you get a kill. Shackle onto Ducalis, who still has the haste going, though. Uh, he's okay. That's nice getting the catch onto Antimates. Tier 2000 needs to be knocked down because Noob is actually having the time of his life in mid. Even getting a bottle refill. When is this got to like Terra in four points on Lighting Bolt? Jesus Christ. Oh, let's let so get sent back home. by Ducalis. Shackles on the Wild Wing Ripper. And Noob. Doesn't even want to use the Thunder God's Wrath. He knows it's a freebie right there. Has the Arcane Room bottled up as well because it got defended by Ducalis. Yeah, these dire supports are just so much going in onto the DK. He is pretty sustainable. Is he going to be tanky enough? New walking in though. This is problematic. Got to disengage. Yuma dropping lows. Noob with the zap. It's actually Malik with the dot. Kill gets secured. They even spot there's an Observer Ward there that Omar is going to quickly remove. Gold goes to Noob. And they find a huge kill onto Yuma while keeping their DK alive. will even be able to pressure the Tier 1 tower with the Corrosive Breath. Doesn't have the HP yet to survive a possible Doom towards mid. They're looking for Noob. But he is very aware of the situation. Even on the side, Fly is going to get chopped up. Omar gets that one and... These quest supports are just always there to help out Noob when needed. The classic uh, spawn run rotation for supports. Oh, towards mid, Pangolier interrupts, Stun comes out, to Salty, oh and Nicolas gets the kill with the Warp Pine Raider last hit. Can't even get the Rolling Thunder off, the mini interrupt from the Lightning Bolt is a bit too much. The Disruptor trying to run away and fuse raindrops, keeping him alive for a little bit longer, but is it going to be able to get out of there? Nope! Noob says, my kill! Snatches it, and finally he gets another kill for himself, because every single other kill is being stolen by his supports. So... They're just going to feed over now. Top side, Gunner. There is support for him behind it, but there's more coming in. Gunner tries to get the Doom off, but it's oh. going to quickly get taken care of, and they're immediately looking for more. The Blink Dagger reveal from Malik. Fly is going to get mana voided. Make that two quick kills. The Kallus does get taken down in mid, so they do find a counter kill somewhere else on the map, but it is uh, still no Doom usage coming out from Gunner, and TA2000 has more time to farm up his precious battle fury. Oh, there's smoke. Noob? Oh, he's in a dangerous doesn't. position. T2000. Oh, he's Does dead. have a blink and a sex stack storm though. Pushes him out with the rolling thunder. He's gonna get shackled up. T2000 will get taken down. TP's came through. TP got cancelled. Gunner is gonna lose his life in response. Lila should be a second one down. So they do manage to kill off TA2000, but they find two kills for Noob in response. And yeah, he is going for the Asha, so you can damn well expect that man to sell this game. They still didn't use Doom yet. Gunnar must be super sad. And they couldn't find anyone in the, the smoke, so it was a waste of time. Gunnar is super sad this, is super sad this game, TK. Like... <laughs> He didn't use Doom yet. I feel I feel his sadness. It's like when you play Enigma and you have no good chances for a black hole. You just feel useless. <laughs> like his spell is called Doom. He is Doom. <laughs> it should be used. <laughs> uh, Copy gets caught in mid, which is another yeah. kill for Noob. He is on a roll right now. Seven zero three on the Zeus. Last pick coming in. Uh, pretty clutch so far 
Okay, 2000. Fly. Gunner. Uh, Here he goes the Doom. the Doom cast off, and that should be a kill onto the Anti Mage. No backup coming through, and they will finally take him down. <laughs> they had to use everything. But at okay, least they, they got to... what they came for. Unfortunately, they won't have it for Noob. Was... They need to reset and wait the next new I think. Noob has Shard. And he's going Ags. Uh, sorry, BKB, not Ags. He's going BKB on the Zeus. It's because of the, this Ruptor and Rolling Thunder. It's a good way Dallas. to deal. Taken down with the Eclipse in mid. Them guys to finally catches here, and Yuma is, has been steadily farming, being left alone. There is a smoke coming out. Gunner wants to definitely doom up Noob, but can he get that catch? Because Malik's also coming in with the rest of the supports. Smokes get broken. Jump forward. Gunner's looking for target, but a quick dodge out from Noob. He's drunk and he's going to chase him down. Gunner pops the BKB. T2000 needs to disengage, so does copy. Doom gets used onto the DK. There is no Elder Dragon for him, but the DK will not drop. Chase on the side, copy still being hunted by TA2000. Bushwhack's not going to be able to connect, but the Pangolier, Rod of Atos, control coming in. The classic, I'm a hoodwink, I buy Rod of Atos so I can build a Gleipnir. Gunner actually jumps on Zeus, but since he was next to trees, he just jumps oh, back. Oh, nope. He's going to get Ooh. caught. Eclipse comes out, and this He's might finally dead. be a kill secure. Doesn't have the heavenly jump, and they finally kill him. Nine kills she picked up for Yuma. Will probably have to pay for that one with his life, but he is very happy to get that huge kill on the Zeus, finally, in his favor. Yeah, I think Manta Link is it's due this game, but he also needs PKB for Static Storm. That's Gunner. going Kaya Sanj. Oh, fly! Drop into Ooh. the illusions. There we go, big illusion gaming. Gunner on the run, Rod of Atos. Can't get the blink off. Bushwhack holds him in place. The sharpshooter snipe comes in. Slowly but surely, Gunner is going to drop. He's trying to deal as much damage as possible before he falters. There we go. Mantis style Zeus. But yeah, he's going to have uh, Sanj because he wants like the cooldown reduction, uh, the duration reduction on Doom, for instance. But that means he bought Kaya, Sanj, and Yasha in the same game. So bring back Trident. <laughs> um, maybe he's going Halberd. It's not that 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 bad. In, no, he's going Kaya, Sanj. Yeah, Kaya, Sanj. Yeah, never mind. Wait, 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 never Halberd mind. Is... Never mind. He's all about that damage. Bit of su uh, sustain, but it also gives you damage, so it's okay. Alice I've seen some back. games. I've seen some games, some uh, some Zeus doing this. They go, they go Kaya, then they proceed to, then he just trash the, the items again on the heroes again. It's a it's a cycle. Upside, Top, they do man find Gunner. Lelis tries to help out his buddy, but it's Noob just raking in kills. He lost <laughs> a nine kill streak previously. Now wants to rake it right back. He also has time. the level 20 talent now with uh, Moonblaze fired on Lucent Beam, has the shard, so... Luna is actually very strong at this stage. And pretty survivable. Unfortunately, the rest of his team is not so. <laughs> Fun stuff, bottom side. Wisdom Room gets joined, quickly kind of disengages. He sees the lightning bolt right in front of him. Ah, nope. I'm out of here. Nope. Not gonna deal with that. Nice. <laughs> oh, Dugalus gets controlled. But do they manage to get the kill onto the Gallus? The answer is no, because they have to run away. Yuma has a BKB, has no TP though. 24 seconds cooldown on his TP, and that means that Yuma is in a bit of trouble. Will be uh, chased down. He's trying to stay alive, but they are faster than he can run. In the trees, Manta Sal, can he get out of there seven Maybe seconds away? No, no is the dead. answer. And TA2000 now on a mega kill streak. They lose Yuma. He is dead for 70 seconds. Just fully bought out two of the pieces right there for his Chrysalis. On Malik, and yeah, we, we all know how obnoxious that is. Glimpse oh, onto the But it's not an easy target to kill. Lelis? Lelis is gonna die in response. Nikal is actually getting okay. the kill just uh, a painful one to lose and 
With all these illusions pushing into your base, what can you do? All three Dyer cores have Manta style. It's too many You're targets. saying Manta is the, is the more OP item in the meta right now? I mean, it, it works on some heroes. It's not, like, amazing on everything. But in this game, they just specifically have three heroes that are really good with Manta style. Radiant the game is going to be impossible. Smoke's going to break. Oh, TPing out. This is a big oh, catch. Nice. DK just TPed out. The noob is going to die. They finally get a kill. Looking for Dekalos next. This might be a possibility to make something happen. They need to use this to open up the map a bit more, though. That's the big problem. Can they do that? They use Eclipse. They use Static Storm. Uh, no, they still have Static Storm available. They do use it right now, but they lose Gunner. Yuma oh my going God. for a man fight. But Yuma? the damage output is too much. Oh. The DK, they just melt them. They just don't care. Five versus three. We don't care. Giga Shads. Yeah, that... I, luckily enough, the creep wave is being cut there, so they should not be able to get Megas at the very least, but it is looking like one, two set of racks at coming in. Maybe even tickle the tier fours. And the problem also for Gunner is there's so many illusions. Which What's the real target? He's gonna get yeah. DK oh. stunned, jumped in, dead. Instantly oh rolling thunder my God. coming through, but... What, what do you have, Copy? Uh, they'll, they'll try to go for TA2000. Incomplete clip from the low ground. Actually, the damage is coming Anti -mage? through. TA2000 is dead. Anti Mage drops. But there is still a right click Zeus behind Juma. He goes for the DK. But it's the Zeus that keeps. Look at these lightning balls just pop, 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 pop. DK is not the big scary tank. Uh, damage dealer. That's the Zeus right behind you. Under attack. They need to be careful because when the Zuto get these eggs, it's game changer. Well, DK illusions coming in for the pushing power. Yuma also has Kanda, so it's a little bit the scary. He does have damage, but does he stay alive is the big question. He is going to get jumped here and very quickly is oh deleted. Has a my available. God. But yeah, he walked way too far forward. And they back off. Not a buyback being forced out, but definitely going to be needing that one. Because Malik can keep this slow siege just going constantly. Even the Gallus from the low ground's got that Hurricane Pikes, has the Grove Bow, yeeting those spears forward. Doom gets thrown out onto Malik. They do manage to go in for the DK, who might just die. And the DK will be taken down, but there is everything used, and they still have everything left on the dire side. Yuma is Yuma? trying to run away with the BKB. Nice bash onto TA2000, so he can't get the Mana Void cast. Lelis one hit away, but he drops dead to Ducalis' Orchid damage. And that will be the first one down that will not return. Die back for the Shadow Shaman jump comes in. They're trying to get the kill onto Ducalis, but... Hurricane Pike down to the low ground. They're going to get bushwhacked together and Mana Void to seal the deal. This is the GG called and PSG Quest take the series 2-1. to one. Yeah. Quest showing up. Who is the Giga Shad on the series? I mean, both games, Omar, as a new play. I mean, they all played really well, but new two games, two, two, two wins.